All right, we're back on CentralValleyTalk.com. I'm Mike Scott, joined now by Lori Heckman from Oakmont of Fresno. It's a senior living community, not open yet. They're going to open up in January, but they are taking reservations now. And a couple of models are about to open, right? We are. Our models are opening this week. They should be completed. We're unique in that we're a family-owned and operated company. And we own not only the building and we manage it, but we also um, own the construction company. And so we're able to be on property and show folks before it's even finished. And so um, we're going to be giving those tours starting this week. And we're taking reservations currently. If there's a construction problem, you know where to go, right? Exactly. You go right <laughs> next door. <laughs> so what's, what's the, uh, the, the story of this family? Sure. Well, you know, the Gallagher family, they're based out of Santa Rosa. Gallagher's, okay. Yes. And um, um, several of their children are still actively involved in the company. And they are very involved in the day-to-day -day operations of what happens at all the properties. Uh, they know us by name. It's, it's a very unique feel. And they started many years ago building um, custom homes. And then uh, slowly over the years uh, began building retirement communities and uh, partnered and uh, started other assisted living communities, uh, other companies, I should say, and have now founded uh, not just Oakmont Senior Living, but Oakmont Management Group. That So we build, we own, and operate all of our communities, and there are um, many scattered throughout California. So it's mainly just a West Coast operation? We're now? only in California. For the time being. Currently. <laughs> Till they spread nationwide, yeah. So um, the models, will they be all furnished? The models will be fully furnished. Um, what you're going to see in our models is, you know, we are a luxury senior living community. And part of that is um, we have larger floor plans um, than is typical in the senior living community. I thought seniors wanted to downsize. Some of them do. Some of them like to maintain a certain level of, um, you know, comfort that they're used to. And so we offer all the way up to a 1,200 square foot apartment in our building. It's bigger than my condo. Right. So <laughs> we're finding that some people, they're downsizing from very large homes, but maybe they don't want a 400 square foot apartment, uh, you know, the um, um, uh, single apartment. Mm -hmm. They would like their two bedroom, two bathroom, 1,200 square foot apartment. So mm -hmm. we're able to provide that level of luxury um, along with, you know, just we were custom home builders, so we, you know, we use beautiful high-end finishes, lovely 10-foot ceilings, um, you know, giant windows, and um, very, very well built and well done. There's no, uh, there's no detail that we're not paying attention to, mm -hmm. including the care aspect, uh, not just the building, which is gorgeous. Yeah, but, the care is uh, important too. We, uh, yeah. the, the, po the care, I would argue, is the most important part of it. You know, we offer this incredible peace of mind that um, our folks can move into our community completely independent, you know, still driving, not needing any assistance with anything. And then as we all do, we age. And as you perhaps maybe need a little reminder of certain things or a little hands-on help with your activities of daily living, uh, Oakmont of Fresno can provide all different levels of care. So you have incredible peace of mind knowing you can move in and you can age in place all the way even, we will have hospice waivers, so all the way mm -hmm. through the end of life even. Wow. Yeah. And we have a wonderful memory care community as well. So we can um, provide the same quality of luxury senior living in our memory care neighborhood as well. All right. Um, food, is that included in the, is it all inclusive? It, part of what makes us luxury is the amenities that we include. So, like you said, the food, which is frankly make it or break it when it comes to senior living. We, we have an, an incredible executive chef that will determine seasonal fresh menus and three meals a day is included for all of our residents. It's included in your rent. Uh, we include uh, access to all of our activities, uh, both on and off site. We have complimentary chauffeured transportation. We have um, complimentary housekeeping and, and laundry services. And of course, we have uh, a pet park for your little furry friend you want to bring with you. Mm -hmm. We have an orchard and resident gardens and walking paths. It's really, um, no, there's nothing quite like it in Fresno. It almost sounds like a hotel. It is resort living. It is, it's uh, very classy and very well done. Yeah. yeah. Is this the first one in Fresno for your company? It is the first one in Fresno. So we have many in Northern California and Southern California. But, you know, we did some research, of course, and um, 
we're finding that in Fresno County, the rate at which, of course, the baby boomers and everyone is aging, um, we're looking by, I believe it was uh, 2020, increasing the amount of people over the age of 65 by something like 120%. Hmm. So there's an, going to be an incredible need for senior living in the future. And so Oakmont saw that. And we also saw that really um, our location, which is over off the Fig Garden Loop, there's essentially nothing offered in that particular geographic location. And so we wanted to try and fill some of those gaps here in Fresno. Yeah. So January, you're hoping to open? January. That's the plan, the beginning of the year. We're on schedule at this point. Yeah. But you don't want folks to wait till January. You no. want them to go in now, see the models, and sign up? Well, here's what's going to happen. People are going to start hearing the news about what Oakmont has to offer, and our apartments are going to get booked rapidly. And so we are, we have already taken deposits. We're currently taking deposits, giving lots of tours. And so we invite people to come, stop by, give us a call, make an appointment if you like, and we'd be glad to take some time with you. Uh, don't wait because people are going to book the apartments and then your selection is going to be limited. So the key is get in, get in early and uh, get the pick of the litter, essentially. Yeah. Sometimes when I go look at a model home, it's really... It's not what the end product ends up being. Mm. They, 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 they go over the top to really right. decorate the models. Right. Is, is what you see what you get at your place? You know what? we Our residents will uh, furnish and decorate it themselves. So they don't come furnished. They do not come furnished. Okay. But what you're going to see is um, an actual wing of our building is where our models are located. So you're walking into the finished product. So they're not off-site. They're not you know set up somewhere else. You're seeing what that apartment is going to look like. So when somebody it's will done. move into that model eventually. Somebody will eventually move into that model. Exactly. Hmm. Okay. All right. Um, website, uh, Facebook. How can folks reach yes, you? Yes, we do have a Facebook page under Oakmont Fresno. Um, also, just oakmontafresno.com, and you can also call us at two seven seven five nine five nine. Is there a story behind the name Oakmont? You know, that's an interesting question. It's uh, it basically started because of the location where our company um, originated and the development that they first were a part of had the name Oakmont and so it stems from there. And it, it's a nice sounding name too. Well, it's very pleasant yeah. All right, and Lori. it's a lovely place. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much. Mike. Lori Heckman from Oakmont of Fresno. They're opening up on the Fig Garden Loop uh, next January but you can start seeing their models this weekend. Absolutely. Out on the Fig Garden Loop. All right and we'll be back with more on Central Valley Talk.